or C2H3Cl, we have a total of 18 valence electrons. Hydrogens always go on the outside of Lewis structures, and we look at the carbon and the chlorine, carbon is less electronegative. That means we'll put the carbons at the center and the hydrogens and the chlorine around it. We have a total of 18 valence electrons for the C2H3Cl Lewis structure. We'll put two valence electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used 10, and then we'll go around the chlorine, 12, 14, 16, and back to the central carbons, 18. At this point, we've used all 18 valence electrons. The hydrogens, they have two valence electrons, so their outer shells are full. The chlorine has eight, and the one carbon right here, it has eight, but this final carbon only has six valence electrons. So we're going to need to share valence electrons in order to give it an octet. Let's move these two valence electrons right here to the center. This carbon still has eight valence electrons, but now this carbon has eight valence electrons as well. And we're still using only 18 valence electrons. So we've used all the valence electrons, we've filled the outer shells for all the atoms in C2H3Cl, and we're done. That's the Lewis structure for C2H3Cl. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.